Shabbat Shalom from Temple Concord. Right now I'm sitting in Banna Rubinow's seat at the library. Banna, I hope you're okay with this if you're watching. Uh, this is the children's section of our library, and very often on Sunday mornings, if you come here, you'll see Banna sitting in this chair, telling stories and reading stories to the children sitting in these little chairs in front of me. It's a wonderful sight to see, and our kids learn a lot. They learn about the importance of stories to our people, and they learn some of those stories straight out themselves. And they learn about Banna, who tells stories, and who teaches stories, and who loves stories. So it's a wonderful time uh, in the life of our temple. This week our Torah portion is the book of Deuteronomy, the opening chapters, and it's Parshat Devarim, the first Torah portion. And it, it, tells, it begins to tell the story of our people. Deuteronomy opens with a recollection of where we've been and where we're headed. And the truth is, each of us, in our own families and in our own lives, have that same kind of story and have moments like this week's Parsha. There are moments when we recall our own journey. Sometimes we do it at the Passover table, sometimes we do it at other times during the year, but we all sort of, at times, sit back and tell our family story and recall our journeys and learn lessons from them again and recall the challenges and recall the successes. And in doing that, our journeys still live and the past still lives. And we figure out ways to make our journeys continue to guide us into the future. And that's one of the little secrets of being a Jew. That to be a Jew is to look forward, but to have darn strong rear view mirrors right with you. So that you're learning from the past as you're continuing to push forward. And you're honoring the past and sharing in the past as if it was your own story. So that in the future, it will be your own story. I hope you'll join us this Shabbat. Friday evening services are at 6 p.m. We're scheduled to be at Clark Reservation which is a gorgeous state park uh, off of 173 in Jamesville. Uh, if the weather is inclement, we will reschedule it to the synagogue building. You'll know, give or take, around noon on Friday. But at least for now, the hope is that we'll be out at Clark Reservation. Saturday morning services are at, t at 11 a.m., of course, tour study at 10 and tech study at 9. And on Monday evening, we'll mark Tisha B'Av, the ninth day of the month of Av, which is the saddest day on the Hebrew calendar. We have a candlelight service at 8 o'clock, uh, here in the Berenstein Chapel at the Temple. For now, though, I wish you a Shabbat of telling stories, of sharing your own journey with your children and listening to your children's journeys, too. And if you want to learn more about storytelling, come to Jim Brulé's Storytelling Jamboree, which is the first weekend of August. Jim can fill you in on all the wonderful information. He's got a whole boatload of storytellers who are going to be here, and you can learn the art of telling stories. When we share our stories, we guide from the past, and we look forward with a sense of rootedness, with a sense of holiness, with a sense of purpose, and with a sense of continuing a sacred journey that was begun long ago and will continue for generations to come. Shabbat Shalom for now. Look forward to seeing you at the temple or at Clark Reservation.